Hello you guys, welcome to episode two of Follow Me Monday, the continuation of my um, baking and crafty stuff. And I must say I'm not very crafty, so you guys should be impressed with what you see so far. Anyways, um, today I'm going to go over, I'm going to make a butternut squash lasagna. And um, it's kind of different than normal recipes you think of during the holiday. That's kind of why I wanted to do it. Plus it's a great recipe, you can freeze it. So if you're having family over, you know, you can just pop it in the oven. Pretty great, pretty great idea. Also, I'm going to make pistachio fudge, and this is a great thing to bring if you're going to a holiday party. And another end, I'm going to make um, cookie dough truffles, which are really cool too, and I'm excited. I've never made this stuff before, so you guys are going to be, you know, this is my first time doing it. So, anyways, be prepared for mistakes. And then I'm also making um, a cheese ball. So, and that's a great thing to bring to holiday parties too. And this one, it's going to be awesome. It's got bacon in it and almonds, and it's just yum. So um, stay tuned for more. Right now I'm peeling my butternut squash for the lasagna, and I'll um, show you guys the little preparations as I move along. All right, you guys, I've chopped up my butternut squash. As you can see, I'm gonna put it in a pan. You let this um, sit with some olive oil in a pan, and uh, don't worry, I will post the recipes um, at the end of this po the video. But I'm gonna put all this in, and it's gonna cook down for about 20 minutes, and you're gonna put water on top of it, and just season it with salt and pepper and cover it. And it's going to soften it up so that way it's going to become like a sauce instead of your typical spaghetti sauce. It's going to actually become like a butternut squash sauce on the local onion. And seriously, I've had this something similar um, to this before and it's really, really, really oops, good. So um, stay tuned. you guys, I am now, I'm taking a break from the butternut squash while it cooks, and I'm starting on my, um, the cookie dough truffles, which I'm excited to make because I'm serious, they look very good. Um, so I've got my brown sugar and butter in here, and I'm whipping it up. And, um, All right, you guys, I'm going to add some, I'm adding flour to this mix now to give it that cookie dough taste, yummy. So I'm putting in some sweetened condensed milk. It's going to be so good. All right, you guys, I'm making these little balls now to make the um, truffles. And um, I've added some mini chocolate chips and I added some crushed pecans in there. And um, they're kind of hard to make, but they will. we're going to put them in the fridge after. Um, and they're going to harden a little bit. And then we're going to dip them in the chocolate to give them that little truffle look to them. They're going to be really cute. And these will be very cute, too, as um, gifts for people if you're going to a holiday party or just, you know, to have on hand when people come visit. Um, we've already tasted this and it's yummy, very yummy. All right, you guys, so my squash is done, and this is going to go. You can either put this in a food processor, or you can put this in a blender, and you just get to blend it up so it makes a puree for the um, lasagna. And then I'm making a sauce right now, and this is such a simple sauce. All it basically is is butter, flour. It's going to have a little bit of nutmeg, the nutmeg seasoning in it, and, um, and salt and pepper. And that's pretty much it, and it's going to thicken up. And then um, stay tuned, and I'll tell you the rest. All right, you guys, so I've got, this is, um, I put in fresh basil, and this is the basil sauce that's gonna go in it, and that, that's the sauce that I was just cooking a second ago. Never mind, start over, what should I say? All right, you guys, so as you can see, this is what the sauce now looks like. It's thickened up, and you actually are gonna take half this sauce, and then you're gonna mix it in a blender with fresh basil, which turns it into a basil white sauce, which is awesome, I love basil. And um, here's the um, squash puree, and this is gonna go on, a, like these are pretty much gonna layer on the lasagna, so I'll show you guys that in a sec. <sighs> okay, you guys, let's just, if you look around here, I just wanna say, I'm not doing a cooking show again. <laughs> like, I swear, I cannot cook. I'm admitting this, okay? This is, no, I do wanna say I've had, like I should have, my friend, my little videographer, wanted to point out to me that I should have made some of the stuff prior to doing the video, but, you know, I like to procrastinate a bit, so yeah, I've kind of never made this stuff before. So, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is my... Now listen, this lasagna could taste good, and I will show you the um, the after um, results after you get out of the oven, but currently it looks like this. Now, I promise, though, it is layered, and this is um, basil sauce over it, and it doesn't look like appetizing, but I swear it will be. So we're going to put it in the oven, and then after it comes out, you put Parmesan cheese and mozzarella on top to have it melted, and um, we'll slice it up and show it to you guys. But I seriously have been in the kitchen for like... I don't know how long, <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to come back and I'm trying to do all these things I told you I was going to do, like these cookie dough truffles and the fudge and I don't know if I can do it all. I'm going to try. I'll be back. <laughs> Stop eating the pistachios. <laughs> okay. Seriously, I can't handle cooking. Anyways, but I have to tell you, this fudge is so simple. So all it is is condensed milk, 
semi-sweet chocolate chips or any kind of chocolate, 12 ounces. You just put it in here, let it melt on low with a pinch of salt. And then after that's done, um, we're going to bash up these um, pistachios, get them all, and that's going to go in the fudge. And it's like a, it's a pistachios fudge. And I'm sure you could replace this with walnuts or any other nuts. But um, it's very simple. And these would make great, easy um, little gifts. And you can package them up, them up real cute and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah. Okay, one other tip that um, I just learned <laughs> um, is that the recipe called for shelled pistachios. These are not shelled pistachios. <laughs> These are shelled pistachios. So, yeah, we had a fun time shelling them. That's a word. But anyways, I just, I didn't realize that and I picked up the shell that was, then I really thought about it for a second and yeah. So I'm um, just remember, shelled pistachios. All right, you guys, this is that pistachio fudge and I crushed up all those pistachios, mixed it in with the chocolate. And so I'm putting this all in here and all you have to do is just let this um, set in the fridge. Then you can literally slice it up and, you know, put it in a cute little container and give it to neighbors or whoever you want or just eat it for yourself. So um, I'll show you the final result once it's set. <laughs> oh, am I on? Yeah, you're on. <laughs> okay, so anyways, we made this. Okay, I'm just telling you guys, everything that I made did not turn out right. I mean, this is the most pointless video I've ever done. Okay, so I tried to make, um, it's like a, a cheese blog thing. And actually, we're supposed to let it sit overnight. Well, I didn't let do that, but the pasta is pretty good. Anyway, basically, it's cream cheese. You put almonds on it. Usually, decorate it cuter than that, but I was in a rush. Bacon, dill, mix it all together. And it is actually really good. It's just that um, it would be really good if it sat overnight and, you know, the flavors absorbed, but we're hungry. We don't have patience for that. Plus, I wanted to show you what it looked like. So... Normally, just imagine that a really pretty cheese log and envision going to a party with it. It'd be a good little thing. Just don't imagine this one. <laughs> All right, we have gotten the lasagna. And actually, this is what it looks like. It's not like totally pretty, but. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I honestly, I've tried too many things today, so I think it tastes good. I mean, it seems to be. <laughs> okay, sorry. Seriously, these. Let me just show you on the computer. You guys are gonna come over here with me. I'm gonna show you what these are supposed to look like. These are supposed to be the cookie dough truffles. Well, we do have some excellent cookie dough here, but the truffle part of it all and the chocolate. I mean, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, come here. Okay, hold on. <laughs> let me find it. No, no, that's not it. No, that's not it. That's something else I'm trying to make. I'm trying to make too many things. Sorry. Where did it go? What the heck? I know you're here. Oh, there. That's what they're supposed to look like. <laughs> Don't they look yummy? Well, anyways, I'm sure I will post the recipe, and I'm sure if you're like a good cook and stuff, it'll be fine. There is something seriously wrong with me, and I don't know what it is, but I seriously cannot cook. So, I'm really trying for you guys. See, I know this video seems very pointless, but I swear to you, I have been slaving over the stove all day to make fabulous recipes to show you guys, and I've failed at every attempt. I'm so sorry. Look, we made cookies! No, I'm just kidding. That's, that's the cookie dough truffles. <laughs> but, um, anyway, we're gonna make cookies from them now, because, um, we decided that we think people would much rather have cookies than um, that. So <laughs> I'm going to put these in the oven and hopefully they will turn out like an amazing cookie. So we'll see you in a sec. All right, you guys, we are done. And I wish you guys could have been here to see all that we did. I'm not kidding. It was a bunch of cleaning and cooking and I'm glad it's over. But um, anyway, um, just to sum up, I hope you guys, actually no, I hope you guys just got a laugh out of it because I don't think you got anything out of any of the recipes I cooked tonight. Um, so I don't think I'll be doing that next week. So stay tuned for next week and it'll be a whole lot better.